What's going on, world? It's your boy Will B. Simply Sick. And Kev Marcus, and we are Black Violet. And you watching Spotlight on ICTV. Yeah. Cheer. <laughs> Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Spotlight for ICTV. My name's Isabel. I'm here with Kevin Marcus and Will B of Black Violin. They had a wonderful performance today at Joyce Auditorium in Murphy. And now we're going to go by and uh, get a little interview from them, find out about them. And uh, for everyone who missed their brilliant performance today, you'll be able to find out some more. So if you guys want to start out, you know, let us know how you got into playing the violin, how you got into performing, and how you got into this world stage that you're at today. Well, um, you know, me and Will here, um, we're like brothers. We met in middle school. We're in a performing arts situation in middle school, and uh, mm -hmm. we played uh, we played violin from sixth grade up until now. And we're um, just, it was an interesting situation because every day we had an orchestra class, just like you know, some people have band or things like that. Every day we had orchestra. We went to orchestra. But um, but after orchestra class, we listened to Biggie or Tupac or Busta Rhymes. So you know, we had a play his phase with us. So we had like a, a a hip hop influence, even though we were classically trained and have been classically trained the whole time. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, forming Black Violin after all of this is just natural. It just happened easily. Right. And I heard you have an interesting story about how you actually got into playing the violin. Well, my story is pretty much you know I wanted to play the saxophone. They put me in the wrong class. True story. <laughs> Can't make that up. And um, you know, it was really an instant connection as soon as I picked it up. And I just kept doing it. We had really, really great teachers that motivated us and kept us doing it. And um, we just kept doing it and just, you know, next thing you know, full scholarship to college. And you know, as far as the whole black violin thing, the hip hop and classical, we've always really been dabbling in that, always really been doing it. It's just like for the past six years, we've really been really focusing on that aspect of us and, you know, black violin. So. Um, it's been a great journey, and we thank God every day. Definitely. And uh, so you have a DJ who's not with us here today. Uh, he's, yeah. you know, downstairs, I think. How did he get into the mix? Did you know him for a long time also? Well, he kind of came in, um, like, you know, because we, we knew each other forever, so he kind of came in, like, almost the, the start of it. You know, we've always, because we, we're from Miami, so we perform in the clubs. We pop in, we give the DJ a CD, and it's a medley, a 15-minute medley. And he plays it and me and him go jamming. We usually there's a stage, sometimes it's not a stage. And when they're dancing, having a good time, drinking up, we're in the middle of the dance floor playing the violin. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So well, we started playing. really putting it together as far as black violin as, as, as really as a show, as a movement. Mm -hmm. And we started, you know, looking for DJs and you know, he was a mutual friend from way back. So we just came together and, you know, made it happen. But you know, black violin's gonna continue to expand and you know, as far as a live orchestra, live band, you know, it's gonna it's going to be crazy. Look out for it. Yeah. Blackviolin.net is the <laughs> website. We got an album that you can get on iTunes, get Amazon. It. It's fire. It's hot. Go get it. <laughs> now, uh, do you guys still play for your churches at all? I know you said that you were affiliated with your church. Do you still come by and play? or? Yeah, I still play at my church. I play the keys at my church mainly. You know. Definitely. We're on the road to about 200 shows a year, so oh, wow. we're long. not home much, you know, but when we are, you know, we try to do that as much as possible and, and not only play at church, but, you know, we also go back to local middle schools and high school where we mm -hmm. grew up and, and play for the kids here. and college <laughs> because we're actually playing at our own, or my alma mater this, um, this spring, so, you know, we try to do um, all we can, especially locally um, and everywhere locally. We play actually a lot of schools here in New York, too, locally. Oh, great. When we're in town, we're playing mm -hmm. um, a school in Long Island, a high school in Long Island on Monday when we come back here, so. You know, we try to do as much as we can, and um, and and kids all off. You know, obviously like kind of what we do, so we try to do as much as we can. With mm -hmm. them. Motivate, you know, inspire. Definitely, definitely trying to do that. All right. Um, so the favorite show that you've ever performed. Mm. The favorite show we've ever performed. Yeah. There's, okay, we have. I mean, there's maybe a top five. I mean, yeah. It's hard to like <laughs> say, you know, one in particular. Um, one no, we played, no particular order, neither. No like. particular order. One we played, we uh, played for Minister Farrakhan at his birthday party, 75th birthday party, in his house. And regardless of your beliefs of Minister Farrakhan, and, and uh, it's just, he's a leader, you know, as a black leader, and it was just amazing to be in his presence and be in his house and play for his family. Mm -hmm. It was his 75th birthday, and it was Mother's Day this year, so it was just, it was just a mm -hmm. blessing to do that. That's one. Two, um, probably our biggest show um, at, at that time was last year. 
we open up for Kanye West in Dubai. Oh, wow. And we're in like, Dubai, it's amazing. It's the first time mm. we ever there. 20,000 people, they don't know who we are. And we rock the show so well that the <laughs> next day they, they invite us to come back and open up for Josh Stone mm. again for another wow. 20,000 people. So that was an amazing yep. experience. <laughs> um, three, so I say I say Africa. We yeah, Africa Cape this Town. Year. Cape Town. That, well, the Cape Town or Johannesburg. Both those yeah. shows were good. And um, we opened for Akon and Fat Joe this year in, in South Africa. And it was just amazing to be in Africa. Mm. And Africa is so different from what I thought it would be. And, <laughs> you know, from, from what everyone thinks it is, especially South Africa. That was amazing. It was like, you know, mm. the first time I'd been home, but I didn't know I'd left kind of thing. So it was, um, that was crazy. That was also, great. one of those was performing with Alicia Keys. At the Billboard Awards in 2004, I believe. Yeah, it was 04. It was it was a while back, but that was really like the very first, you know, like taste of this. Yeah, so <laughs> it, was live, it was live television, so yeah. you want to mess oh, up. Wow. I remember like I remember walking off stage as soon as we got off stage. My mom was like, "I saw you on TV. I saw you." I'm like, "Wow, that was really live." I mean, like, I'm glad I didn't mess up. And um, and the fifth one would have to be Showtime at the Apollo because it was probably yeah. it was our start. Yeah. And we went um, we went right down the street in Harlem. we were, um, and we won Showtime at the Apollo four times, never lost. We didn't even know they give money for it. And if you don't know what Showtime at the Apollo is, it's where they boo you off stage mm -hmm. if you suck. And we yeah. had violins in our hands, so we were obviously a little bit scared. But we won them over, and we never lost at Showtime at the Apollo. So that was probably the fifth one. And there's a lot of other ones in between. We knew 200 shows a year for the last four years. I mean, there's a lot of shows to pick from, but yeah. those are the ones that stick out the, the most for us. That's amazing experience. It's like, I can't even imagine if I was in that situation. I'm just like, wow. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> um, so you guys have to practice a lot, I'm guessing. 200 shows a year. Is that, you know, practicing on that, your That's enough practice. That's <laughs> enough practice. I mean, yeah, you think about it. Like, um, we, we, like, like we just did a show here. We had a 12 o'clock show, and then we have to drive to Pennsylvania right now. We have an 8 o'clock show there. So a lot of times there's not a lot of time for practice, you know mm -hmm. I mean? We really practice a lot on stage and we're honing our, our skills on stage every day. And, um, you know, but when we have off time, we definitely practice and we're in the studio mm -hmm. working on albums and things like that. Right. Um, but, you know, like when we were growing up, my teacher always told me, it was like, you should practice now because when you become a professional musician, there will be no time for it. Mm -hmm. So I, I hope I got most of my practicing <laughs> in back in those days when I was trying yeah. to get through college and pass juries and recitals and this and that. So, so true. That's definitely how it is now. All right. And so today you guys played R&B, you played classical, you played some rap, you played mm -hmm. dancehall, you played reggae first, you played everything. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite to play? Man, to play? I'm just, I'm just, I just love music. We just love yeah. music. And yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just thinking about hip hop and classical, putting those two together. You know, and you if you hear a black violin show, you hear the album, you can hear a whole bunch of stuff in there. You can hear funk, you hear jazz, you hear the Motown era, you hear a lot of definitely classical, you hear country, it's so much stuff in there, you know what I mean? But you got two different worlds coming together. I just love playing anything. It, as long as it's the music, it's a key, I can play anything. We could funk anything. It don't even matter. I try <laughs> not to discriminate against music. Yeah, you know? so. I mean, even country. We didn't play any country today, but we, we toured with Kenny Rogers back in the day, too. So it's like, you know, <laughs> we've done it all and we can play it all, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, and really, you know, to us, it's the, the more variety, the better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. So now here's my big question. Uh -oh. Big question of the uh -oh. night. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Have you ever lit a violin on fire yet, <laughs> on stage, Hendrix style? Just let it go down, blow that thing up? Oh, uh, I want to do it one day. Yeah, yeah. Really, I do want to do it. I think we have to get to a certain level where we have expendable violins. <laughs> we can light them on exactly. fire, and, you know, and like, you know, wallop loser or something like that. But um, <laughs> no, I never did anything like that. I really want to like, you know, besides that, I want to take my violin and throw it against the wall. Yeah, or, like, yeah. You know, just start crashing it on, on the floor. Like, that would be so cool, like, just some rocket fire stuff. Yeah. Yeah. One day, when, when we do it, we'll come back, as Isabella, we're going to give yeah. you the interview. Yeah. I'll be there. We're going to do that. All right, so for everyone in the New York area, where we can find you, you know, we can look at your schedule online. Oh, you yes. are at blackviolin.net. Dot net. www.blackviolin.net. <laughs> uh, we got a ton of stuff on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Okay. Albums on iTunes, Amazon, anywhere you download your music. Just look us up on Google. Just Google us, and we're just everywhere. Google. Yeah. Google. Right. Google. Google, Google, Google. <laughs> Can I give a shout out? I want to give a shout out to everybody here at ICTV. Yes. Apple, we love you. We see you back there. Isabella, thank you for the interview. Thank and you. Everyone here at Iowa College, we appreciate the support. And hopefully we'll be back soon. On the spotlight. Uh, on the spotlight, <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in today. We hope you enjoyed this. And we want to thank Black Violin. Thank you. For our minds today. Having a good time. Thank you. Uh -huh. And we'll see you soon. All right. <laughs>